tell me a little bit uh, about the design layout for it. How did you guys uh, end up deciding this layout? Uh, so we picked a, a, you can see an aluminum extruded chassis, uh, and this, uh, it's an off-the-shelf uh, product from McMaster Car, and it's nice because we're able to switch components in and out uh, pretty easily. Um, you know, if we want to take the arm off and put on uh, an apparatus such as the drilling rig, you know, it's just a few screws, you pop them out, put the arm on, and then you're ready to go. Okay, so I see that it has a drill on it. Um, what else can it do other than drilling? Uh, so this drill actually is just for soil collection. Uh, you can see there's a spout um, which actually comes out and pours into a storage sample unit so it can store six samples. Uh, but as well as this, there's also a, an, a, an arm that goes on. It's a six degree of freedom arm. So we can reach virtually anywhere in front of the rover or even on top of it um, with two different end effectors. One is a three finger uh, under actuated end effector and the other is, uh, is a clamp style for when we need to pick up heavier objects or uh, or really have a solid grip on something. The three fingers more for um, circular objects or for reaching inside of something. With it being so complex, what were some uh, design challenges you faced? So some of the design challenges we faced were, uh, I mean, one of the one of the biggest design challenges we faced is actually just having things fit together. Um, so that could be uh, when we were designing our suspension, having the through holes and having the the a arm uh, line up with the rover itself and slide into place or when we were designing the electrical box um, the wire management was actually a big concern and having all of the components fit inside uh, the electrical box while remaining underneath our weight restriction uh, so those are some of the like kind of general uh, challenge we face but some of the more specific ones is uh, having the drill rig uh, collect samples um, and be able to store them in um, sealed containers so that they're not mixed uh, we overcame that by having a bit of a funnel system set up. Uh, and then as well, uh, we had some issues with our suspension system that we were trying to revamp from last year, um, not being able to handle some of the loading conditions we were putting it under this year. Um, so we worked really hard to improve the camber of our suspension and actually redesign the mounting points um, so that we could have a, a more stable system that we didn't have to worry about shearing off screws because one of the issues with screws is because they are threaded. Um, the, they're more likely to shear than if we were using something like a through pin or a, or a nail, I guess we would say.